<coughs> so this is not going to be <coughs> a very deeply technical presentation, but uh, we are uh, talking about how to improve the spell check dictionary in general in terms of uh, maintainability and, uh, and size. Something about me, I'm uh, active uh, as a volunteer in several uh, free and open source projects for several years. I do all of this in my spare time, which is very, very thin, so if you consider it spread among different projects, actually my contribution to individual projects uh, tend to be quite smaller. Uh, in the past, uh, this project uh, <coughs> included uh, responsibilities at Apache Open Office where uh, I served as a project chair and release manager, but now we are just uh, focusing back, uh, I'm personally just focusing back on uh, maintaining uh, a general purpose uh, Italian spell check dictionary that uh, <coughs> is used in many <coughs> projects. Sorry about the cough. <coughs> so status of the Italian dictionary. History. Uh, it's been developed for about uh, 15 years, so it is an old dictionary. An old dictionary does mean something. Uh, in uh, uh, it's uh, not. Uh, we will see that uh, even dictionaries can have some legacy issues. Uh, it had uh, different maintainers, uh, and while it is only text files, uh, it's amazing. Uh, how many conventions you can mix up, mix up uh, and uh, mess up with, uh, with many maintainers taking care of the, the so-called code, uh, even though it is just rules, uh, words and rules. I've been maintaining the dictionary for, uh, say, the, the last 10 years approximately. It is built for OpenOffice, but uh, it is used as is or with uh, the minor changes like packaging it uh, into an OXT file just to go back to the previous talk, <coughs> by many free and open source applications. So basically, every time you have uh, an Italian spell check somewhere, probably the underlying dictionary files come from either this project or uh, uh, a variant of it. As the maintainer, my burden is especially with the support requests and user reports. They were very frequent in the early stages, where uh, the dictionary was, was still being built. So the dictionary was incomplete, and uh, you got uh, nagged uh, every day with uh, missing words uh, or everything. Now it is much less frequent, since uh, the product is mature. Say, we cover, we, we can consider the, the dictionary to really be in maintenance mode. It uh, fulfilled its task and, uh, and now uh, th there are just minor fixes. But maintenance is always required. Even Italian is changing, of course, meaning uh, that uh, no later than <coughs> a few months ago, a baby in Italy was, I don't know how many of you speak Italian, so, okay, I'll keep this generic. <laughs> a baby in Italy was seeing a flower and uh, inventing a, a word that do, does not exist in Italian for a flower with a lot uh, of petals uh, uh, around it. The word didn't exist, but uh, the issue was brought up to the Italian National Authority, so to say, uh, about uh, the Italian language, and they approved this new word officially. So the next day, I had my inbox full of people who asked <laughs> to, <laughs> to, <laughs> hmm? yes, to, uh, to, to add th this word uh, to, to the dictionary. And of course, if uh, an eight-year-old uh, uh, child can do that, then everybody else was inventing words and asking uh, uh, for them to be formally approved. So it was uh, kind of a frenzy moment, even though the, the language is supposed to be stable. And uh, so the, the request types we get uh, are type one, very easy. You type uh, a normal word, you find out that it is underline red. And, uh, 
next step, you, you just send an email to me saying uh, to add it to the dictionary. Now this is very, very rare. Actually, most of the time this happens. It is actually a type 2 request. Uh, we still have this small flow of uh, requests that cannot be addressed because they are just wrong. They don't, uh, people uh, do, do not uh, <coughs> take uh, the time to spend one minute and actually checking in a real dictionary if they are suggesting something that should be there or should not be there. And uh, most of the times actually it should not be there, so uh, I already have canned answers to people saying, uh, no, but this word does not exist. I know that a lot of people use it, but uh, it is not a real word. Please uh, do not ask for it to be included or fork your own dictionary, but then it will not be Italian. And uh, type 3 is the interesting one, since uh, it is uh, what we are, we are discussing now. I got an increasing number of requests to remove wrong words. People that say, I misspelled a word, but it was still recognized as valid. <coughs> In these cases, actually, the words that uh, they believe they do not exist um, are existing, are legitimate Italian words, just nobody is using them any longer. So uh, our issue is probably that the, the dictionary has now grown to the point, uh, and this holds for Italian, but uh, surely for, for the English dictionary we are seeing the same issue, and for many other dictionaries, to be too complete for uh, its intended use case. Okay, then uh, the standard answer you give to these in-office applications is uh, please supplement uh, your spell checker with a grammar checker. A grammar checker is able to identify rare words and uh, it might uh, <coughs> be helpful in cases like this. Meaning that you see something that is not wrong, so it cannot be underlined wrong, but it is uh, underlined in some way to tell you, okay, but if you're using this word, either you're talking about something really strange or there is something uh, uh, going uh, uh, something wrong uh, in, in your text. And uh, also, it is not a perfect solution because a grammar checker, last time I checked this usage, uh, was not really able to identify all variants of a word, meaning you, you identify the base word but not uh, all of its variants. And uh, it is not compatible with uh, all use cases. In, in an office suite, it makes sense to have a grammar checker. But uh, this dictionary is, is used everywhere in uh, small application, in uh, probably also for uh, uh, spell checking that uh, runs on smartphones and uh, <coughs> on many small uh, software that uh, do not implement an interface for grammar checking because they, they do not need it. So it is time to trim the dictionary or uh, to at least think if it is right to trim the dictionary. Tools of the trade. We have uh, also, good old text editor, simple text editor, everything is uh, in text files. <coughs> Some <coughs> statistical analysis tools for uh, medium sized data. We are not talking big data here. It's uh, hundreds of thousands of words, which, which is big, but it is not uh, the kind of uh, data that would properly be classified as big data. And uh, the Hanspell tools uh, and uh, custom scripts. I did, okay, you have an example here uh, in case uh, people are not familiar with, uh, with the format we use. It is simply one huge text, files, text file with the stems, uh, meaning the, the base form of the word, uh, like uh, this is to talk in Italian, parlare, and uh, a set of uh, letters and combination. What does this mean? This means that uh, this is a verb to talk, and here you have rules to form all derivative forms of uh, this word. So basically, you would have, if this was English, you, you would have a talk, and here a rule that uh, is defined separately and means from talk you derive talking, you derive talked, you derive everything that uh, is related to talking. One can follow a completely different approach 
that is exploding this and create an even huge text file. But uh, it will not work <coughs> with synonyms, for example. In you, for synonyms, it is always important that uh, you can reduce back to the stem of the word, since uh, that is what you need for, uh, for uh, creating the, the synonyms. Otherwise, uh, in, uh, in office applications, for example, all, uh, all the synonyms will break uh, uh, if the dictionary is not using this, or will be inefficient, much, much <coughs> inefficient. So what uh, I try to do is to create a corpus, meaning uh, finding all possible Italian words from somewhere. This is impossible as a task, uh, of course, but you can try to get some approximation. The bad part here is that uh, you can use news, uh, Wikipedia articles, uh, recent books, because I do not want uh, uh, words that were used uh, two, two centuries ago. Italian is a quite an old language by, by uh, language standards, and it is almost in its current form since uh, uh, it has been in that form for uh, eight centuries, more or less. So <coughs> manual sanitization is necessary because news will contain uh, person names and other uh, stuff that you do not want in a dictionary. And uh, for, uh, no, no matter how hard I try, I never managed to, to get past uh, the 50% of base words, which basically means half of my dictionary is useless uh, in, uh, in real use cases. And uh, <coughs> what's even worse, uh, only about 5% of all possible variants are considered, because here it is much a matter of copy-pasting. I mean, if, uh, if a verb uh, behaves, like, behaves like another verb, uh, then I will just copy-paste uh, all variants, but some of them are really sound strange in Italian, are not real Italian words. <coughs> so <coughs> what uh, we got uh, in the end was that uh, we, we, we removed uh, all words that do not uh, appear in the corpus. And, uh, but this is much, much more trickier, and uh, if any of you has some smart ideas, come to me after the talk and uh, we can uh, try how to make it in an efficient way. The variants that are never used are, um, are removed. Of course, this is more complex because you, you do not just remove a line, but part of it, and uh, it becomes uh, quite complex. What about the future of this prototype? Uh, I think the full dictionary will still be maintained. The, the one that will be properly maintained is the full dictionary. And <coughs> it will be the default one, the one from which uh, <coughs> dictionaries for uh, uh, office suites, uh, for uh, um, Thunderbird, for uh, email clients are created even for text editors, of course. But uh, we might decide to accompany it uh, with a light version. Use cases are uh, all use cases where uh, a normal dictionary could be too big and uselessly big. So when uh, you are very limited, you have very limited resources, like uh, lightweight or mobile. Uh, for uh, language learners, we might publish uh, a, a simple Italian uh, dictionary, and people who are learning Italian would uh, know that uh, the, the underlying words are words that uh, they are not supposed to, to know because they are advanced words, uh, and uh, everything else uh, is in their uh, range of expected skills, for example. Use cases uh, may <coughs> be found, and uh, <coughs> And I'm happy if you have any uh, creative, <coughs> creative ideas on how to use uh, a, a lightweight dictionary to, um, to just uh, talk to me after, uh, after uh, my talk. Well, that's it. Thank you. And, uh,